All right, guys, good morning. Uh, here's what's on the agenda today. Fascia metal, gutters, and try to get a tank down here so we have a fourth collection system now. Uh, yesterday, we got the tanks on the pole barn just in time for a storm to come through, so that was awesome. It rained for an hour, then we thought it was going to stop, barely get anything wet, and then it, another round came through for three hours. We got two half a tanks, two half tanks, so we got about 300 gallons of nice fresh water over there now, which we can transfer over here if we need it, or we can uh, use it on the garden if we have to, so that's awesome. But we would like to get the metal fascia boards up here the boards are up but the metal fascia and then the gutters and carry on Okay, so far. Right length, once we push it in, right? Yeah. There we go. Just mush it in real good. This all dry for a couple yeah. hours and
right. Now you gotta silicone that seam and the other one. Yeah. That's why his shorts are always destroyed, guys. Because he just rubs it all. And then he complains he looks like a bum. Well, it's because I wear the wrong clothes. You let me wear work clothes out in public. So, um, he needs an apron or something to wear out here, guys. Well, I already went through this the last 20 years. <sighs> you keep your clothes looking nice, and they just rip anyway and wear out anyway. So <laughs> you might as well get them dirty and make it look like you work hard. All right, guys, we just went to the blueberry farm where Jason got all the blueberries, plants, all the blueberry plants this spring. And ours, we don't have this many blueberries yet, so look at that. Oh. And the good news is he got the right plant. <laughs> you can thank Blueberry Bob for that. Yes, because we like the white crop, the blue crop. They're called blue crop, but they're in his white patch. Yeah, they're called blue crop blueberries, and they are so sweet. They're like perfectly delicious. Mm. So we got 50 of those out there, so that's really exciting to know. We didn't know that they were the ones we like. <laughs> and we met up there with Mama P's Bakery. Yeah. Brandy and Chad. And look what they gave us. It was a goodie basket. They gave us a goodie basket. They gave us some delicious homemade bread homemade bread some raspberry chocolate chip cookies oh my gosh guys these are so you may have good. sampled them oh we the sampled them on the way right. up back up to the cabin oh my goodness they are so delicious so thank you brandy they're awesome and they gave us a bunch of asiago cheese bagels i also sampled slash ate one of those and we got some sweet cherry jam and her daughter makes dog treats. Whoop, whoop. So guess who gets some dog treats? Not this guy. <laughs> what? Would you like a cookie? <gasps> Would you guys like a cookie from Brandy's daughter? Huh? What do good dogs do, huh? Oh my goodness. Mmm, it smells yummy. It smells like peanut butter and oats. <laughs> Did you even taste that or did you just swallow it whole? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Scout just inhaled that tree. <laughs> they smell really, really good though. Brandy, your daughter makes awesome dog treats. They, oh my goodness, they, you, you are right. They probably are really good enough to eat. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. Tons. So if you're up in northern Michigan, check them out. She's got a Facebook and an Instagram, and she's at the Pavilion Market in downtown Gaylord on Saturdays. So if you're ever up in the area, you're traveling through the area, check them out. They make yummy bread. I know Gaylord's a big stop place for a lot of people here in Michigan. They're going up camping, so stop and get some bread. You won't be sad, I promise.
forgot that the spout wasn't coming from up here. It's coming from underneath the deck down here. Right. That's so another foot. Cut stuff off, right? No. That's what I'm saying. You cannot fit an IBC tote underneath the thing. See where it comes down at? So I'm going to put this up, but it's a foot lower. Like I was imagining the tote being up here, yeah. but the water's not up that high because I have to come underneath the deck. So I'm a foot lower than I had thought I was. So this thing's going to have to be buried like two foot in the ground. Yeah, but how can you do that and get water? You can only get water on know. the top. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Either that or we try to find a tote that a smaller. is flat and small. Or, you know, not small, but flat, not so tall. Yeah. So I want to take a quick second out and throw a couple quick thank yous. We've gotten some happy mail recently and I just, we always like to show in a video and say thank you. So we got some custard powder from Paul for rhubarb pie. So we're going to have to buy another rhubarb pie here soon and try some custard on it said it's really good so thank you so much Paul we really appreciate you sending us this and we appreciate your support as a member thank you for supporting our channel so much thank you we appreciate it and we got a another gift from Summer and Cody over at Can't Contain Us if you guys don't watch them you should check them out they have a awesome little container house so check them out. They sent us some lights. I'm not gonna unwrap them right now because we, we're not gonna put them up just a second. But they sent us some lights and they're gonna look really awesome in our loft. I can't wait till we start working on that. But that will be when the temperatures are cooler and it's not 100 degrees in here. <laughs> but thank you, Summer and Cody. We appreciate you guys sending us something from our wish list. Very kind of you guys. So again, if you guys haven't checked them out, check their channel out. They are Can't Contain Us. So thank you again, guys. And just anybody, if anybody ever sends us anything, you can send us a card. We'll send you a card back. We love to get happy mail in the mail. You could just send us a hello card or hope to hear from some of you guys. And thank you again, Paul and Summer and Cody. Thanks, guys. Appreciate all the support. All right, guys. We had a really good week. We brought up, done. brought up a trailer full of goodies, and most of it's being used already. And we set up the gutters, and it rained. Yeah. You guys know how we've been struggling to get some rain here, so it was pretty exciting. We had a challenge to get it done before the rain came, yeah. and it worked out. But we got <laughs> a lot of water now. Yep. Yeah. We collected rain. It poured for like three hours. We got half a tank there. Uh-huh. And we got all the lean-tos done, fascia boards up, gutters up. We have another tank back here in the corner. That's half full, so that's 150 gallons of water, 150 gallons of water. Plus our original system has 100 gallons in it. Yeah, maybe 75 to 100. Yeah. It's only got a small area, so. So we're excited. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yep. Uh, we got a lot done. And we hope to see you soon in the next one. Yep, as always. Like. Like, comment, let us know what you think. And we'll see you in the next see one. See you soon. Best wishes.
So you hold on to that. Okay. That should be easy to hold on to. Okay. Okay. Just making sure my butt don't get wet. <laughs> 